Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'll be talking to you about this 1998 CLK 200. We haven't had one of these in a while. It's done just 91,000 kilometres since it was brand new. And it's a CLK 200 Sport. And for 1998, it has a significant amount of options. Even more than you would have got standard on a Mercedes-Benz CL. Which cost nearly three times the price. It's Ercon Silver in colour with two-tone light grey and black interior. It's got an electric rear blind at the back here which is up at the moment. It's got an electric glass sunroof. The mirrors fold in and out electrically which wasn't even standard on a CLK 320 from 2005. It's got memory electric seats, drivers and passenger side. In fact, at the time, there was a CLK 55 AMG. And I don't think that even came with the rear blind either. So you can see down here, you've got parking sensors, traction control. That's a switch for the rear blind. That's a switch for the electric mirrors. You've even got climate control air conditioning. And it's got a CD stacker for the stereo. If you look online, I'm sure you'll find these cars with one, two, three hundred thousand kilometres. And people still ask really good money for them. I mean, these are a particularly good model. It's called the 208 series, this chassis. You can see the back seats. I don't think I've ever been sat in. So the front seat, you probably didn't see, but it actually, you put the back, back and then the seat electrically goes back to its position. Made in Germany. Well, that's certainly a good thing when you consider a lot of the later model Mercedes-Benz are made in other countries like South Africa. It's even got Xenon headlights. In 19, uh, the year before this, about 1996 or 1997, you didn't even get Xenon headlights on an E36 AMG. It's got the very reliable, chain-driven, two-litre, four-cylinder engine. Again, if you ask your mechanic or a Mercedes mechanic, I'm sure they'll back up the fact that they are such good engines. I should know I had one. Oh, gosh. Ten probably 15 years ago it was a C200 look at look how clean the engine bay is you know this is back when Mercedes really knew how to make cars I'm not saying they're not good now and they weren't good five or ten years ago but if you're a Mercedes-Benz enthusiast I'm sure you know that you know cars prior to the year 2000 were particularly good. I don't think this will last very long. Whether you want to buy it and drive it every day, which I think would be a shame since it's in such good condition, with such low kilometres, you want to buy it as a club car, you want to join the Mercedes-Benz club and take it to events because it's pretty rare now. I don't think there'll be many other CLKs of this vintage. Or if you want a weekend car for a bit of fun, you might have a company car. This would be great for any of that. Again, if you want to drive it every single day and you know drive it till it's done 300,000 kilometres, you can do that as well. It's even got the optional folding rear seats. There's a CD stacker in the back. Battery, spare tyre, spare wheel, I should say. It's got the warning triangle. I mean, it really is a very special car. If you have any specific questions about the car, you can obviously give us a call. Be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. 
Um, after I finish this video, I'm going to send it to uh, a local mechanic and get it checked over, serviced, you know, checked for oil leaks and things. So we'll have all that done probably by the time you've seen this video. But uh, yeah, if you've been looking for what I think is a pretty special Mercedes from the late 90s, this is a car you should definitely come and have a look at. You're certainly not going to be disappointed. And it really is just so nice that it's got all those incredible options. Thanks for taking the time uh, to watch this video once again. And we look forward to hearing from you soon. We're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport and we can send this car interstate.